Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to do an update on the G4 TV situation. Just when you thought we had all the information, uh, it turns out that G4 TV wasn't doing well on TV either. Yeah, we're like, okay, well, they aren't doing well on YouTube. They aren't doing that great on Twitch. Maybe they were doing really well on television. No. <laughs> no, no, it's it's pretty bad, guys. We're gonna talk about this. So this is a this is actually coming from the mainstream media, not just a bunch of toxic YouTubers. And uh, IndieWire had a story on it. Uh, why did the G4 channel close? It only averaged a thousand viewers, dead last in cable viewers. Ouch. Wow, that's bad. So anyway, before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 277,000 subs. Woo! Thank you so much for the support. We've been talking an awful lot about uh, G4 TV lately because it is a lesson in what not to do. Mm -hmm. How not to behave. How not to behave. Uh, and it's going back, I mean, three months into their revival, they were already dead. They had to rebrand. Uh, mm -hmm. As X Play, which is you know one of their most po most popular shows, so that one might get you know fifty people most watching. Most popular it. in quotes might get fifty people watching it. We had uh, multiple videos, multiple articles on uh, Adam Sessler and Frost having meltdowns, uh, both on the channel, on air, and on Twitter. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, you know, last week it was announced that Comcast is shutting the whole damn thing down. I'm surprised they admit this far. Uh, I am too. They probably gave them a budget and projections for the year. But I mean, throughout the year, there were all kinds of signs that they were in trouble. They had a bunch of people leaving. Well, it's been about a year, right? Since yeah, it started. Yeah. So they probably were given like a year to make it work. And it clearly did not. It clearly did not. So just to show you again, you know, we thought, well, maybe, you know, they don't look like they're doing so hot on YouTube. They don't look like they're doing so hot on Twitch, but maybe their uh, television ratings, uh, television ratings were good, which is why Comcast invested in them and, and kept them around as long as they did. And again, they probably had, you know, X millions of dollars to burn, spend on, on G4 TV. But yeah, I mean, they're pulling pathetic numbers on YouTube for, especially for the amount of money they're spending. I mean, an individual YouTuber, you know, just starting out mid career, whatever they're going to get, they're going to get more views than mm -hmm. this, right? Uh, Twitch, we thought, well, maybe that's where their audience is. No, <laughs> it looks like they're actively fleeing. Well, now they probably are actively fleeing because they got, they got, it's, dead. it's done, you know? Right, right. Being fair. Uh, so let's go out to IndieWire here. Uh, revived gaming channel G4 currently ranks dead last in cable viewers. Uh, game over. This is actually from a couple of days ago. This, this explains so much because I, I think if they weren't doing that well on social media, if they still brought the views in on television, which is what a lot of people that were defending G4 kept saying. It's like, well, it wasn't really about YouTube. It wasn't about Twitch. It was about television. Mm -hmm. You know, they're, they're bringing the views on TV honest. Because they that, figured people wouldn't be able to see that. Right. Well, it turns out that's not the case. Uh, so yeah, they shut shut it down again. Dave Scott made the announcement on Sunday when a lot of people uh, got blindsided, of course. I don't you, know how you could get blindsided, but okay. Yeah, so 45 staffers lost their jobs. The shutdown comes just under a year since the channel's relaunch last November. The channel's relaunch first announced in July of 2020 followed seven dormant years for the gaming channel, which began in 2002. Uh, the early version of the network was operated by G4 Media, which was Comcast and NBC Universal. Right? People are like, "Why didn't they put it on Peacock? Why didn't they?" Because mm -hmm. I don't think it was ever that important to them. I yeah. really, I, I don't think it was. I think it was a brain fart. Well, it was it kind used of, to get uh, yeah? I, Comcast is on Peacock. I was like, I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So they said the original version of it. The original version of it uh, officially ceased operations on New Year's Eve, 2014. Right. What went wrong this time? Oh my God. Where do you start? Where do you start <laughs> among 120 something cable channels and third quarter ratings? G4 ranks dead last. Dead last. So we're not talking like, oh, the ratings weren't good. We're talking like if there's a knitting channel that grandma watches on cable, more people are watching that than Frost. According to Nielsen, it draws just 1,000 total viewers on average across both prime time, 8 to 11 p.m., 
in total day, 6 a.m. to 6 to 6 a.m. We did not miss any zeros. 1,000 viewers. One. So, OK, ju just to put this in perspective and look, I'm not trying to pour salt in the wound. No, fuck it. Yeah, I am. I am. Because this was a horrible, horribly, horribly. I mean, I feel bad for people handled. who lost their jobs that had nothing to do with the people that were acting like asshats. There's no. people who totally lost their jobs and they didn't, you know, it sucks. And it's not their, through no fault of their own. So many mistakes were made. So many mistakes mm -hmm. were made. To put it in perspective, we don't live stream very often on Clownfish TV, right? We really don't. Maybe once every six months. If we just drop a stream and we don't even tell people we're going to stream, we just, you know, hey, guys, we're live, whatever. We pull in significantly more viewers than that. And we're not a channel known for live streaming. No. Um, this is on every every Comcast box in the U.S. Right. I would say other channels that are known for live streaming pull in thousands of views. Yeah, I've seen like I've seen neurotic. Uh, I've seen seen neurotic get like what ten, twelve thousand yeah. because that's what they do every Friday. You go to Twitch, you've got people with fifty to a hundred thousand people watching them. Okay, G Four TV with all of Comcast's money, millions and millions of dollars with with a a sixty thousand square foot uh, office studio in Burbank can only pull in a thousand people watching them. And that's probably just people like, are they actually watching or are they just like, Hey, I'll listen to X play in the background, you know, whatever. Uh, how bad is that? Black news channel averages twice that in prime time, comedy TV and BN sports average four times G four's overall prime time audience and B in sports and Espanol is six times better from a viewership standpoint. All of those are still terrible, but at least you've probably heard of G four. <laughs> That's kind of all the, the, the years before the drama. where they, well, not just a drama, when they, they were big years ago. They were. but there So were, some people knew about. There were no other options. They even had a, a name people knew, a recognizable brand, and they still messed it up. Uh, this is just, this is catastrophic. Like, I, again, there are going to be so many docu documentaries about this clusterfuck. That's all I can call it. Operating out of the studio in Burbank, California, G4 aired programming related to gaming, somewhat, <laughs> somewhat related to gaming with particular focus on esports. Uh, much of the channel's programming is live streamed on Twitch and YouTube before being edited for linear TV. Yeah, and we saw, we saw the numbers. Yeah, so they can't say, well, people on TV aren't watching because they already saw it on YouTube or Twitch because no one's watching those either. Just nobody was watching G4. They were watching the train wreck, but they weren't watching G4. The relaunch brought back two of the channel's signature series, Attack of the Show and X-Play. Uh, G4 launched the career of Olivia Munn, who was supposed to return when the channel came back in yeah, 2020. Yeah, there was she had like a seven-figure sum that she yeah, was supposed she got, to have gotten. Yeah, she got like a million bucks to not even Supposedly, yeah. show up. Um, Maybe you should have had her show up because she was bangable. She was more bangable and people would have watched. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so here's here's the memo. Um, I don't even, look guys, I don't even know what to say at this point. Like this is the big, I, I can't believe that they were dead last. They were dead last of I mean, all I can believe it, but the channels. Like literally nobody was I can, watching G4. I guess what I can't believe, I can believe they're dead last. What I can't believe is that Comcast let it get to the place where it was dead last. That they had that much money sunk into it. You saw the um, office and how much money they, they spent on that and all the money they're spending on the talent and the, and the people that are employed there. And we kept saying, I don't understand how this is financially feasible because the numbers aren't there. Maybe they're getting it on TV. Clearly, they're not getting it on TV. So I don't know why I let it go as long as it did. And I don't know how you can fail with that much money behind you. You have to try to You fail. have to try. That might have been the point. It might have been a very expensive tax write-off. I have no idea. But it was. this is definitely one of the biggest cluster fucks in the history of cable television, the history of games media. Uh, I have never seen anybody deliberately set out to fail as hard as, as G4 no. did. Um, and sadly, a lot of people got caught up in it. A lot of people got caught up in it. So anyway, guys, uh, we're going to wrap this one up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Bye.